AMD confirms all Ryzen CPUs are unlocked and overclocking ready. Khalid Momer AMD just had an action-packed week at CES chock full of announcements and demos of its next-generation Ryzen CPUs and Vega GPUs. We finally got to see Vega in the flesh and learned about the architecture's clever new graphics, compute and memory subsystems. On the CPU side of the equation we got to see a plethora of Ryzen-ready AM4 motherboards sporting the X370, X300 and B350 chipsets. All AMD Ryzen CPUs are multiplier unlocked and overclocking ready out of the box. Today we're bringing you several big announcements as well as key takeaways from AMD's Ryzen press briefing that our own Keith May was a part of at CES 2017 in Las Vegas. In an effort to reiterate its commitment to the enthusiast and DIY PC community AMD made a presentation dedicated specifically to overclocking on its brand new AM4 platform. We summarized the key takeaways and announcements in the following points. All Ryzen CPUs will be multiplier unlocked and ready for overclocking right out of the box. There will be no locked Ryzen CPUs. AM4 X370, X300 and B350 chipsets all support overclocking. Ryzen CPUs will come in different configurations with varying core counts. The highest core count parts will have 8 cores and support 16 threads. Ryzen will launch closer to the middle of Q1 or early Q1 rather than the end of Q1. AMD won't give us a specific date but sometime in February is a good bet. AM4 compatible aftermarket air and liquid cooling solutions will be available on day 1. To date AMD has showcased Ryzen in 7 different benchmarks and demos where it outshined Intel's best offerings. If you want to learn about Ryzen speeds and feats we highly recommend checking out our Ryzen summary article where we break it all down and dive into the 7 different benchmarks slash demos. AM4 and the X370, B350, X300 and A300 chipsets. The company kicked things off at CES 2017 with a motherboard showcase featuring 18 different models from AS Rock, ASUS, Biostar, Gigabyte and MSI. The motherboards on display ranged from high-end enthusiast class models with X370 chipsets in the heart of every one of them to mid-range B350 based designs as well as entry-level boards sporting the A320 and A300 chipsets. ASRock X370 Teiki, ASRock X370 Gaming K4, ASRock AB350 Gaming K4 and ASRock A320 MPRO4. ASUS B350MC Biostar X370 GT7 Biostar X350 GT5 and Biostar X350 GT3 Gigabyte GAAX370 Gaming K5 Gigabyte GAAX370 Gaming 5 Gigabyte of 350 Gaming 3 and Gigabyte A320MHD3 MSI A320M Pro VD MSI X370 Power Gaming Titanium MSI B350 Tomahawk and MSI B350 M Mortar. Ryzen compatible AM4 socket motherboards will come in four different chipset flavors. The X370 chipset is the high end enthusiast focused contender with the latest and greatest technology and the most robust set of features. The B350 is the mid range chipset where users will be able to get a lot of functionality and versatility at a more attractive price point. The A300 chipset is the entry-level chipset for more budget-constrained computer builds. Then we have the X300, which is a new kind of chipset for AMD. It's the company's high-end offering for small form factor motherboards i.e. mini ITX and micro ATX form factor boards. That's right, you will be able to cram an 8-core monster i7-6900K class CPU in a tiny mini its board and build incredibly powerful small form factor PCs with Ryzen. The Enthusiast X370 chipset. We know that many of you reading this will have already seen the demos and read up on the speeds and feats and are probably interested in learning more about AMD's newly announced high-end chipset. We're pleased to say that it does not disappoint. It's a truly modern chipset with support for the latest memory and storage technologies. Features of the X370 chipset include Support for M.2 SATA SSDs NVMe 
4 DDR4 memory slots, dual channel DDR4, 16 PCIe GEN3 lanes, from the CPU, with support for up to 3 way Crossfire X and 2 way SLE, 8 PCIe GEN2 lanes, from the chipset, 10 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, 4 from the CPU and 6 from the chipset, 2 USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, 6 USB 2 ports, 6 SATA 36 GB slash S ports, 2 from the CPU and 4 from the chipset, AMD Zen Plus CPUs, Vega 20 and Navi GPUs to be built on 7nm Fin FET, Global Foundries announces risk production for 2018. This is a huge improvement compared to the company's current AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus stack. We're talking DDR4 vs DDR3, native NVMe and M.2 support as well as USB 3.1 GN2. Ryzen has been one of AMD's most eagerly anticipated products and arguably its most important one in a decade. The new CPU breaks new ground for the Sunnyvale California-based chipmaker in many ways. It's the company's first ever microarchitecture to feature simultaneous multi-threading. It's built on a process technology that's as close as ever to parity with Intel since the days of the original Athlone in the early 2000s. Perhaps most importantly, it's very competitive. At CES 2016, exactly a year ago, President and CEO Lisa Su stood on stage and said that by the same next year at CES 2017 everyone will say AMD is back. Well the moment is finally here. We've been to CES 2017 in Las Vegas, we've seen it, and we're ready to say it. AMD is back.